Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. GM mode, Raw versus SmackDown, or SmackDown versus Raw 2008. I am, of course, JD. And if you don't know who I am, you should hit the fucking subscribe button, man. Because I got more great shit coming. Now, few things that we learned from the last video. Three things I want to go over. Number one, thank you to everybody that really made me realize why my rivalries would disappear. Thank you very much. I'm still learning and this is what you're here for, man, to help me out. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. It's the first time I'm playing this game, but I want to give you guys WWE video game content. And this is exceeding my expectations greatly so thank you guys so much for sticking with me and showing your support number two number two a lot of people ask me jd how come we don't have the uh an unknown usb device has been connected what are you talking about bro what's connected bro are you pulling it kevin dunn army what the fuck's going on over here man anyway number two a lot of you guys wondered why um there's no main menu music. It's because it's all copyrighted music, bro. It's all copyrighted music. Why am I going to play copyrighted music and risk a strike or a copyright claim on my channel? I don't want it. I don't want it. And number three, you guys wanted to see the ratings. You guys wanted to see the... Uh, where the fuck is it? The ratings report. Fan support. Right now we're down. Monday Night Raw's ahead. I don't know how. I think we had. I think we had a decent show last time, man. I think we had a decent show for episode number three. Apparently, Monday Night Raw is leading the charge right now with ECW in second, and then SmackDown in third. Don't like it. Gotta change it. Anyway, let's look at WWE.com. What did they say about the last week's show? Match of the week. Are you fucking kidding me? Match of the week, Raw on a roll, SmackDown, the main event, ECW had match of the week. And WWE tickets on sale right now, Raw rating was three stars, SmackDown rating was two and a half. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ, man, I don't like that at all. WWE.com providing fake news, I think. We got 2 million fans, 2 million nine. Fan change. Raw gained 10,000 fucking people. We might have to invade Raw, bro. We might, ECW got a three star show too. I don't like it. I don't like it. We gotta change it. We gotta change it. Let's see what's going on, man. Let's see what's going on. Did we get any, uh, no messages from JBL, the goon? Let's see what we got going on here, man. We got Raw. What are we doing today, bro? We're going to do events and activities. I think we're going to brand invade Raw. Now, invade this show and leave your mark. You may just gain some fans on the other show. And you could get injured doing it. We're going to do that. We are going to go with... Um, we're going to have invade. We're going to have invade, bro. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send... Somebody, it needs to be somebody controversial. Who could it be, man? Not The Undertaker. I'm gonna go with King Booker. I'm gonna go with King Booker invading Raw. Yes! Booker! Plus fan popularity, plus five, and 20% fatigue. It's alright, I'll take it. It was, it was a success. So we're moving on. We got ECW today. What are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? Um, promotion. Help the WWE promote itself and earn a nice paycheck while you're at it. However, the extra stress will cause fatigue. It's all right. We're gonna have. We're gonna have the new cruiserweight champion promote. WWE. Yes, Matt Hardy, the new cruiserweight champion. 
$3,000 cash and he fatigued himself 20%. It's all right. I'll take it, bro. I will take it. Let's see what we got today, man. Trophy dates. You guys said do trophy dates. A-list status, earn some popularity and cash by attending this event. You know, we'll do a movie event, bro. We'll do a movie event. Let's uh, let's put someone in there that could be good trade bait down the line. Johnny Nitro. Maybe Johnny Nitro. He's a good looking dude. He's a good looking bro. There you go, man. Johnny Nitro posing. Johnny Nitro's success with the movie premiere. Nicely done. We did that one. What else we got here, man? Uh, charity event. Raise your morale and popularity by helping others. Pay-per-view commercial. We got a pay-per-view coming up soon, right? I think we could do that. Or photo shoot. We'll do a photo shoot. We'll do... We'll do CM Punk. CM Punk will do the photo shoot, man. Yeah. There you go. There you go, man. Now, now that that's all taken care of, is this a raw branded pay-per-view? What is this? I don't know. We'll do the pay-per-view promotion next week. Uh, ECW has a show on Sunday in Japan. It might be a pay-per-view. I don't know, or a house show, I don't fucking know. But we got our show today. And let's, before we do that, let me see what the feuds are. Let me see my rivalries. We got Nitro and Hardy, and we got Jeff Hardy in an outnumbered storyline against Kane and The Undertaker. Now, I thought by putting Jeff in a match with either Kane or The Undertaker that it would keep the feud going. Apparently not. So now I have to be a little bit more creative. Punk and Batista, they're going. That hasn't been deleted. And we got Johnny Nitro and Matt Hardy being that Matt Hardy won that triple threat tables match last week and beat the Cruiserweight Champion to pretty much become the new Cruiserweight Champion. So this is what we're going to do. Let's try and do this show here. Um, We're going to do a non-title match. We're gonna do... We're going to do... Let's see what we can do. We're gonna do a one-on-two normal match. We're gonna do... Matt Hardy versus Johnny Nitro, who's got four fatigue. You know what? I don't think that's gonna work out. Let's do. Actually, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack here. I'm trying to I'm trying to come up with the best card here. Um. Right, we're gonna do uh, a tag team match, two on two. We're gonna do a tornado tag. Actually, you know what? We're going to do an elimination normal tag. Elimination normal tag. We're going to do... Kane and The Undertaker versus Jeff Hardy and... Um, we'll do MVP. We'll do MVP. We'll do that. Elimination normal tag. Okay. Match number two. We're going to have. 
another. I'm trying to think what I could do here, man. We're gonna have another tag team match. This is gonna be a normal tag team match. Tag team. Okay. We're gonna do CM Punk and. Mark Henry. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and change this. I'm gonna put I, I'm, I'm gonna put Mark I'm gonna put Mark Henry here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Mark Henry there. I, you know you know what? No, we're gonna do King Booker. We'll do King Booker. That's that that'll be that. Odd, but it'll work. Um, we're going to do another tag team match. Uh, we're going to do Punk and MVP versus Batista and Chris Masters playing off last week's ladder match. So that's what we're going to do. And that'll work. We're going to do a rivalry in place of a match. We're going to do the Hardy situation. I have a feeling. I have a feeling the fucking Undertaker Jeff Hardy thing's going to get fucked up. I might have to. I might have to change this. I, I don't think this is going to work. One on two. Yes, this week it's going to be that. This week it's going to be that. Maybe we could do hardcore. There you go. Hardcore. There you go. That'll work. That'll work, bro. We'll see what happens with that. And then we got the tag team match with Punk and MVP. Batista and Masters. You got two feuds going on right there. Not one officially with MVP and Masters, but Batista and Punk will be in the same match. We'll do the Hardy Nitro rivalry in place of a match. We'll leave this one vacant. Okay. Um, match number four. Let's see what we could do. We'll do a non title match. We'll do. We'll do a parking lot brawl. Johnny Nitro. I want to give Johnny Nitro the week off, man. He's already fighting. He's already doing that Matt Hardy thing. We'll do King Booker versus Mark Henry. That'll work. That'll work. We could do a slander promotion. Slander Raw. Um, I might actually change this opening match here. I might actually change this opening match here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in the main event. I'm going to put this in the main event. One on two. Jeff versus the Brothers of Destruction. Hardcore singles. We'll do that. Yes. And then we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll change this up. We'll have a one on one. Who's not on the show tonight? I think everybody's on the fucking show. That's the thing. I think everybody is on the show. I think everybody is on the show, man. That's the fucking problem. This is where it gets interesting.
This is tough, man. This is tough. Uh, 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 Matt Hardy's gonna be doing double duty. Matt Hardy's gonna be doing double duty, bro. He's already got three fatigue. Rivalry in place of a match. They'll have some scuffle there. Matt Matt, uh, Matt will be defending the Cruiserweight Championship against Chavo Guerrero. Tag team normal match here. Punk and MVP versus Batista and Masters. Matt Hardy versus Nitro in a rivalry in place of a match. Match three we left open because everybody's on the fucking card. Parking lot brawl. Booker T versus Mark Henry. Slander promotion against Monday Night Raw. And in the main event, we got Jeff Hardy versus The Undertaker and Kane. I like it. I think it'll work, dude. Yes. This is your show. What we have up tonight, I don't know what we're going to be doing. But I hope you guys are enjoying this, man. Sorry it took a little bit long, man. This is what happens when there's, there's no depth to the rosters. If they eliminated fucking ECW from this shit and just kept it raw on SmackDown, it would be so much better. I would have more. But hopefully I can buy more talent from the talent pool when I gather the funds and make this show a little bit more interesting. All right? But we'll see what happens here. We might, we might do, we might do the punk match, and we might do the main event. All right? So we'll see what happens, and whatever the case may be, let's hit the action, man. This is SmackDown Live, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, episode number four. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you right back here within the action in the arena. See you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SmackDown Live! CM Punk, the best in the world, tonight will be teaming up with MVP as they battle the team of Batista and the United States Champion. Chris Masters, the masterpiece. Batista, the World Heavyweight Champion. This will be a true test for both MVP and CM Punk to see if they really do belong in contention for both respective titles. Punk in a feud with Batista right now has been on the receiving end of a beating every single time they've been in the ring together. And this man last week was denied the United States Championship in a ladder match with the Masterpiece. So close to winning that United States Championship, but the Masterpiece prevailed. And a match that I am sure we will be seeing again for that prestigious United States Championship. And look at that entrance by MVP. Getting the crowd hyped here tonight on SmackDown Live. I would like to thank everybody that has shown support for this series, man. You guys are absolutely on fire with the support. Roughly been about 10,000 views per video with over 1,000 likes on average. And if you guys are enjoying this and want some more during WrestleMania week while I am in Orlando, you guys know what to do, man. Keep up that support for SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 GM mode right here on the channel. And MVP is ready, man. Having a good time tonight. Sam Punk is all business. He doesn't care who his partner is. He just wants his hands on the World Heavyweight Champion. This man! The Animal Batista. 
And if you guys caught a glimpse of that sign, that fan in attendance, Punk's not dead. He may very well be after this match, after this feud with the animal. The animal is looking to feast on the best in the world. He wants to put Punk behind him and he wants to go on to bigger and better things. Punk is nothing but a nuisance to Batista. That was documented in a WWE.com interview that was conducted after last week. He described Punk as one of those annoying gnats that's flying around you on a hot summer day that just will not go away. Punk believes he is world championship material. Punk wants a chance here on SmackDown Live. He was the number three draft pick for SmackDown several weeks ago after the initial brand extension draft. Wants to prove himself to management, wants to prove himself to the GM. Wants to prove to everybody that he is world championship material. Commissioner JD has given Batista the run with the world championship. Even though The Undertaker was the number one draft pick, The Undertaker and his brother Kane, the brothers of destruction, have their hands full with the Hardy Boys. Most notably, Jeff Hardy, who we will see tonight, again, battle the brothers of destruction without his brother Matt. Chris Masters, the United States Champion. Look at this man's physique, ladies and gentlemen. He is toned. He is the masterpiece. You know MVP is eyeing this man. You know MVP wants another shot at that. United States Championship. He may very well get it at the upcoming Backlash pay-per-view. I honestly think he deserves a rematch after what we've seen in that ladder match. Nonsense all over the place. Chris Masters was badly beaten somehow with a prayer to the Lord above Somehow he grabbed that title before MVP did. If you guys missed that episode, it will be in the annotation that you see on the screen right now. MVP with a superplex to Chris Masters in that match. Over the top. Could have landed Chris Masters on the DL. But he's still here. And he's teaming with Batista tonight. That dreaded master lock. He gets that master lock on you. There is nowhere to go, ladies and gentlemen, with the strength that Chris Masters possesses. Very, very difficult to get out of that dangerous maneuver. Booker T, King Booker. He is a member of the SmackDown roster. Traded for at the last minute and came over to the blue brand from Monday Night Raw. You know, King Booker is looking to get a world championship title match sooner or later. And look at this. MVP. Pointing at Masters. He wants Masters. And Batista's ready. Punk is ready. The top feud on SmackDown starting things off right here. Punk goes for a super kick right out of the gate. Batista is down. Punk using those educated feet. And that, that drop kick is very well scouted by Dave Batista. Punk seems to be going to the well once too often with that move. He seems to be relying on that short drop kick. Trying to take out the legs of Dave Batista. And look at that spinning back kick. One. Batista lands on the concrete and Punk is taunting the animal. Two. Nick Patrick, our senior official. Oh. Look at that. You heard the, the cry for help there as Batista landed that elbow right on Punk's thigh. And Punk going for the GTS to go to sleep here early. Batista nails the DDT. 
Beautiful counter by the animal. Oh, look at this. This is where this is where Dave Batista is most dangerous. Look at those rights, those lefts. That animalistic rage by Batista. Punk is in trouble. Look at that headbutt. Surprised he was not busted open there. And Batista now turning that carnage into a beautiful Boston Crab. And Punk battles out quick. Gets out of that hole. Drop kick by Punk. Doesn't phase the animal. Just stand there and took it. Punk with that right hand. Again, that missile drop kick. What did I tell you? He's going to the well once too often with that missile drop kick. Does not work against Batista. Collar and elbow tie up. That one worked. That one took the big man down to one knee. Misses that super kick. Batista's going for a tag. And Punk cuts him off. Educated feet, and again that drop kick swatted Punk away like a fly at your parents' barbecue on a hot July night. Elbow to the small of the back there by Batista. Punk, Irish whip. Spinning back kick to the gut. No. Nothing. Nothing on Batista. Nothing seems to be working. No use. And a really buff loser just signed on. Has nothing to do with the video, but he's a skag. Look at this. Punk getting out of that hold and reverses it beautifully. That camel clutch quickly reversed by CM Punk. Irish whip here. Punk hits hard. Got to watch out for the double team here by Masters and Batista. Punk could really be in trouble. Punch to the gut. And here we go. Here's that double team. Look at this. Double suplex. Look at that. Planted him right down to the mat. Punk is hurt. Rolls up. Gets back to a vertical base. Forearm shot right to the jaw. Masters blocks that with a left. Irish whip. Punk goes over the top and hits hard. One. Looks like Punk's neck had a whiplash effect Two. as he hit the concrete. And Masters is taunting. Punk with that knee. And that drop kick brings Masters down to one knee. Punk to the gut. Punk to the gut there with a kick and a super kick to follow. Looking to tag MVP. I don't think he wants in yet. I don't think MVP wants in yet. Punk. Look at this. MVP is not coming in. Punk will not allow MVP in. As look at that. Look at that shoulder tackle. MVP tries to help his partner out. Batista with that huge shoulder tackle. And Punk again go for the GTS. Batista trying to fight out of it. Another back kick. Irish whip. Punk hits hard. What a match so far, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. What a clubbing forearm by Dave Batista. What's going on here? Slingshot. Oh my God. Punk is in a world of trouble right now. As the world champion is in complete control. And again, One. Punk with that back kick. Batista lands on the concrete. Two. Look at that. Flying cross body with a rapid fire fist. And Batista fights back to a vertical base. Go behind and that elbow again to the small of the back. Possibly setting him up for the Batista bomb. Here's Batista. Side headlock. Wrench in the neck there. Punk. Miscue there. And Masters. Masters with the distraction. Uh-oh. What did I tell you? Set him up for. The Batista bomb. It's over. One. Two. And MVP. Out of two and a half. Saves the day. Punk was done. But he rolls out. Look at this. Nick Patrick's telling Chris Masters to get out of the ring. Punk is hurt. Look at those, those MMA knees. Right to the head. He's got to make a tag to MVP. And he does. The fresh man is in. Spear! MVP flexing his muscles. 
drop that big elbow right to the sternum. MVP, look at that nice wrestling maneuver there. Arm drag takedown, and again he's flexing. Posing over the animal's body. MVP is in control. We've never seen Batista in this type of trouble. Three big elbows. Batista blocks that right hand. Headlock now. Collar elbow tie up. MVP's got Batista railing over the top. And he hits face first. One. Batista is hurt. Look at him. Very fatigued right now. Holding his rib cage. Holding his chest. Those elbows did enough damage. The animal's hurt. But he's still fighting. Block. MVP with that big right hand. Goes over the top again. MVP. Big hip toss back in. MVP's climbing to the top. He's going to the top. Drop that macho man ass elbow. He's going for a cover. One, two. And Batista gets the left shoulder up. MVP shocked that the animal still has fight left in him. Batista's back up, holding that rib cage. Look at that. Off the ropes, MVP. Another arm drag takedown. Nicely done. The animal is no good. Lying on his back. Irish whip. What do we got going on here? Double team coming up. Look at this, Punk and MVP. Rapid fire kicks in the gut. Batista is hurt and Punk is in control for the first time. Punk's going to the top. What has he got planned here? Drops that big knee right between the eyes. He's going for a cover. One, two. And Batista powers out. Punk can't believe it. Near fall there. Missed that spinning back kick. Animal, Irish whip into his corner. This is dangerous as Masters is fresh. And here's the double team, look at this. Masters, Irish whip, Batista. Wow! What a right hand! Look at the power of the masterpiece, Punk. Trying to fight out of this. Gorilla press. Drops Punk face first. Masters showing you why he is the United States champion. Masters is climbing the top. This is uncharted territory for Chris Masters, not really known for his aerial ability. Look at that. Beautiful flying shoulder charge right on top of CM Punk's fatigued and injured body. He's going back up. Trying to get the crowd behind him. Another one. MVP desperately reaching for a tag. Punk is hurt. Trifecta here. And he drops that big elbow. Listen to that impact. Drops that big leg drop. Punk, Punk might be done. Punk might be done, ladies and gentlemen. Masters is just toying with him now. Masters is in control. He could end this at any time. Look at this. He's signaling the end. Oh, my God. Masters is going for the cover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Masters signaled the end of CM Punk with that flying elbow drop. And that's exactly the outcome that we were given. Chris Masters just pinned the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And you can say without a shadow of a doubt that Batista and Chris Masters are the portrait and a masterpiece at that. This crowd is stunned and unhappy all at the same time. Batista and Masters victorious here on SmackDown Live as we continue on with this great card tonight. Unbelievable.
How is Punk going to battle back against the world heavyweight champion? That remains to be seen. Ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's action earlier, Matt Hardy lost the Cruiserweight Championship after just winning it last week from Johnny Nitro. Chavo Guerrero is your new Cruiserweight Champion as he beats Matt Hardy tonight on SmackDown Live. As we continue on with this show, we have a great night of action ahead of us. Parking lot brawl, King Booker. Versus Mark Henry, who's going to come out on top here? And Mark Henry defeats the King. Here on SmackDown Live, in our main event. I thought it was going to be a handicap match. One-on-one, -on -one, hardcore, extreme rules. Jeff Hardy and Kane go one-on-one -on -one again in the main event. With The Undertaker, the dead man in his corner. In the corner of his brother Kane. Matt Hardy. Nowhere to be found. Battling his own fights. As he's in contention for the Cruiserweight Championship. Jeff Hardy seemingly battling the Brothers of Destruction all by himself. Jeff Hardy wants to prove to everybody that he and the Hardy Boys along with his brother Matt, deserve a tag team championship match against Kane and The Undertaker. As Jeff Hardy is ready for action here on SmackDown. And look at this. Kane. Along with The Undertaker. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The displeasure from this sold-out crowd. What a dominating duo. The Brothers of Destruction. Anything can happen here, ladies and gentlemen. This is hardcore rules. This is the way Jeff Hardy likes it. Jeff Hardy loves a challenge. Anything goes. Last time we seen Jeff and The Undertaker in a first blood match, they spilled out into the WWE Universe. And The Undertaker tombstoned Jeff Hardy on the concrete. Followed by those dangerous strikes, those closed fists, which eventually busted open Jeff Hardy. Made him bleed all over the place. And The Undertaker stood victorious on SmackDown Live last week. Jeff is ready, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Stare down. Trash talking in the middle of the ring. Nick Patrick's got to get in between them. He rings the bell, and here we go. Jeff Hardy. Arm drag. And look at this. Kane automatically going to the outside for that steel chair. Jeff Hardy, his weapon of choice is a sledgehammer. Right to the gut. Oh my God! Jeff swinging for the fences here! Irish whip. Big right hand. Throws his body at Kane, but Kane blocked him. Jeff goes over the top and he hits hard. And Kane following out. Look at, look at how athletic Kane is. Flipping over that top rope. Into the steel barricade. Again, Jeff tries to throw his body at Kane. In a suicide style. Andre and Kane gets right back up. He feels no pain. Jeff now rearranging furniture on the Spanish announce table. Kane got that steel chair. Jeff needs a weapon. He's picking up those steel steps. Look at this. Nails the Undertaker. Undertaker sits right up. Kane better watch out. He gets nailed with those steel steps. Undertaker. He's in harm's way here. Oh my God. 
Jeff is a madman! Spinning heel kick! Jeff's going to the top! Swanton! Mist and Kane rolled out of the way! Beautiful camera work there! By our award-winning SmackDown Live crew! What a shot with that steel chair! Looking to impale Kane's leg! Oh my god! Could have broke the ankle of the big red machine! Side headlock head down by Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is a madman possessed here! Jeff Hardy's got gold on his mind. He wants a title shot for he and his brother Matt against the Brothers of Destruction. Look at this! Picks the big man up. What strength, what power by the Enigma. Fall away slam. Jeff looking to end this one early. It's going to the top. Big leg drop. Beautifully executed. He's going for a cover. Could be, should be. And Kane kicks out. Jeff can't believe it. What a main event. Look at this. But what is this here, Jeff? Wow! Oh, that steel chair! That could be it! One, two, Jeff Hardy! Jeff Hardy defeats Kane! And Jeff Hardy is pumped! Kane is hurt! What a complete opposite from what we've seen last week! Does this mean the Hardys are in line for a tag team title shot against the Brothers of Destruction? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on SmackDown Live! Join us next week for more Raw vs. SmackDown!